Let's talk about constants. Constants are the values that cannot change once they are defined. Unlike variables where you could define and overwrite the variables after they're defined. So for example, in the previous video, we learned how to define and echo out a variable. So let's do that quick. We're going to set the first name to geo and then echo that out. And now we could overwrite this value right below and change it to something else. And in this case, Joe would be printed on the screen and not Geo. And that is because PHP is executed uh, from top to bottom, line by line. So it first reads this and assigns the value Geo to first name. And then it reassigns the first name to Joe. And then it prints Joe instead of Geo. For the constants though, once you define them, you cannot override or change the value. There are two ways you could define constants, and we'll go over both. One way to define a constant is by using a function called define, and don't worry about the functions right now, we'll go over the functions in more detail in later videos, but this is how you would define a constant. You call define, and define accepts two parameters. The first one is name, and second one is value. Now ignore the third parameter here, which basically allows you to set true or false whether your uh, constant name is case sensitive or not. This has been deprecated and you should not use it. So the name of the constant follows the same rules as the variable, meaning that it can only start with letters or underscores and it cannot contain any special characters. Also the names of the constants are case sensitive, just like variables, so you should use them the way you define them. The convention is that you define constants with all uppercase and you should just stick with that convention and follow it. So we're going to define a constant called status paid and set the value to paid. And then you would just reference that constant using the name of the constant. So we could echo out status paid and that would work. Notice that we're not adding a dollar sign here uh, like you would do in variables because when referencing constants you don't need uh, dollar signs. And this works. As mentioned before you cannot uh, change the value of the constant so you cannot do define right below. This will give you an error. You could also check if a constant has been defined using the defined function. And don't worry about the function, uh, as I said before, we'll cover those uh, in more detail later. But this is how you would check if the constant has been defined. You can do echo defined and then put the name of the constant, which is status paid, and that will print one. This basically returns boolean true or false and we'll touch booleans and data types in uh, next video but the boolean value true is printed as one on the screen that's why we see one here and if we checked for another status we see that uh, nothing gets printed which means that status void is not defined another way to define constants is using the const keyword so we can do the same thing using const keyword so we can do status paid set to paid and then echo out the same way and this works the main difference between the define function and the const keyword is that constants created with const keyword are actually defined at a compile time while constants created with the define function are defined at a runtime so you can't define constants with the const keyword within your control structures like loops or if else for example but you could define constants using the define function within the control structures we'll talk about the control structure in later videos but you could do something like if true define status paid and we could comment this out here and this would work however it would not work with the const keyword so if I were to do const foo equals bar this would not work and the ID will underline it for you there are a few more differences but I'm not going to talk about uh, all of them right now because there are some advanced topics in there and we'll touch those topics in later videos. But there is one more difference that I want to show you. For example, you could use variables to define your constant names, something like define status underscore and then set this to something like paid and then set the value to paid as well. And then you could set that variable to paid like this. And now you have status underscore paid defined. Even though the ID will highlight it as it's not being defined, we created it dynamically. So if we go here and print, it will print paid because that's the value of the variable. You could set this to whatever you want. You could send this to an integer if you want and it will print for. So when would you use constants? Whenever you have some static data that doesn't change too often, I would say go for constants. For example, you could use them for statuses like status paid, status void, pending, declined, and so on. 
Now, aside from custom constants that you could define, there are also some predefined and magic constants that PHP provides. For example, you could print a PHP version using the predefined constant, and that is PHP underscore version. And you can see there is plenty of uh, other constants here. I'm going to post the link in the description that will include uh, all the predefined constants, but this should print the PHP version. And currently I'm using 7.4, but I'm going to upgrade to PHP 8 because it was recently released and we'll be using PHP 8 for the rest of the course. I also mentioned the uh, magic constants and magic constants are pretty much constants but they're called magic because their value can actually change depending where they're used. So for example one of them is underscore underscore line and you can see a bunch of them here. I will also include the link to these magic constants in the description so you could read up on them uh, more. And this just contains the value of the line number where it's used. So in this case it's used on line number seven so they should print seven if we move this down to line number eight now it's going to print eight same goes for the file it will print the file path where it's used so in this case it's used in index.php and it prints the full path and finally let's move on to variable variables so let's define a variable here let me change this to variable variables let's create a variable called foo and set that to bar and then we'll set the variable variable using the dollar sign and the variable and we'll set that to buzz and i'll explain what variable variables are so a variable variable basically takes the value of the variable and treats that as the name of the new variable so in this case this basically is same thing as bar equals to buzz because bar is the value of the variable foo and we are essentially saying here that take the value of the variable foo and use that as the name of the new variable so it creates a new variable for you called bar and then you could print that out like this foo and then bar and this will work even though the id underlines this and tells you that bar has not been defined it was actually defined using variable variables it's just id does not know that the other proper way to print this out would be using variable variable here like this and this would work the same way if you wanted to close this within the quotes like this this would not work and this would just print the variable bar as is in order to make this work you need to unclose the whole thing in in brackets like this and this would work or another way is you remove one dollar sign and put it outside of the brackets and this would work as well and this is very useful because this gives you the flexibility to create your variables dynamically we'll cover more advanced variable variable usage just like with arrays or objects in later videos so don't worry about it, I just wanted to introduce you to variable variables so you are aware what they are and how they actually work. This is it for this video. We'll talk about the data types and casting in the next video. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.